Time is money. In addition to allowing you to add plugins and themes as well as users and links to all of your sites from within the hub location, you can also write posts and pages which includes a content spinner. And you can do that on a site by site basis or in bulk. For example, if you come over here in the bulk actions section and click on write post page, you get the same editor as you do on any other WordPress site. So the functions and features are exactly the same. Once you enter the title and your content, you come on down here, choose whether this is going to be a post or page. And if it's a post, you can choose a particular category and tag or just leave it blank. And the sites that you put this on will just assign the default category to that post. You can then decide on the publishing date. And you can also decide if you want to use the spinning option. And if you're not familiar with how to use that, you've got an easygoing manual for you right here. Very simple. Then you simply check the sites that you want to add that content to. Come on down here, click on Add New Post Page. It's that simple. Now it's very similar in concept to WordPress's MU or multi-site feature. But for the WordPress multi-site to work, all the sites have to be on the same server, the same IP address. Not the case with WP Central Hub. As a matter of fact, my Central Hub site is on one IP address with one hosting service, and all of these sites are on a different hosting service with a different IP address. This makes it a perfect fit for anybody, whether you have only a, a few different WordPress sites or somebody that manages a whole lot of client sites on various domains and IP addresses throughout the world. Again, time is money. Now the simplicity begins with the setup. Step one, you install and activate the plugins. The hub plugin on the hub domain and the child plugin on the sites you will be managing within your hub. Step two, connect your sites to your hub. And there's basically three steps involved with this. Number one, add the name and URL of your child sites. Number two, after you create a unique string of characters on your hub, that's your API, you have that and your hub's IP address to each child site. Then number three, make sure that all the sites are on the same time zone as the hub. You do that by going to the settings general section and making any adjustments on the time zone that you need. And then step three, well, actually there is no step three. You are now ready to manage the look and functionality of all of your sites, as well as craft those posts and pages for all your sites, either one at a time or in bulk. And that's WP Central Hub.